All right, welcome back there, uh, students and shop teachers. I got another one for you. So what we had is uh, students have left, but um, I had a student. We're trying to do a little bit of uh, welding practice. He wanted to do learn how to do a fillet weld, so I got him to get a couple of coupons, clean them up, and uh, you know do your typical fillet weld, uh, T joint style. So the problem he had is he has really small hands, and he couldn't hold the, uh, the stinger. Um, it's, it, and the metal at the same time. Um, and he, uh, he was getting a bit frustrated and I said, don't worry, I got the solution for you. So rather than him trying to, to do this and have to fall over or trying to do it one hand all shaky, we're trying to get another student in here to hold it, um, or myself. Um, we just go over to the tool rack and introduce this guy. And I don't know if you've uh, ever seen one of these. Uh, you can find them on the internet like to, like plans, but basically it's just a tripod. It's called a welder's third hand. If you don't have one, if you've never heard of one, if you haven't made one, make one. It's a great project. It's just a piece of heavy rod in the center. Uh, I think this is uh, like inch and a quarter and some 3 16 rods and uh, just three points. One, two, three, and just sits on the table and position your metal where you want it to be and there you go. It holds it for you in place. You can do the welding you got to do, tack it, fit it up and uh, get it ready to go uh, for your final welds. Um, super easy to make, super cheap and um, really effective. And you can make them in all different shapes and sizes. Some people have made them to look like uh, um, creatures and crabs and birds and stuff. And I've seen people make them out of solid copper. I've seen them made with copper wire wrapped around them so that you get better conductivity. But I've never found that these uh, scrap ones we've made up have ever been a problem. But um, either way, it holds the material and uh, we can. Uh, then weld it up. And there we go. Get a couple tacks, get the square, square it up, and uh, that's it. So, if you've ever heard of one of these welders for his hands, make them. We've got a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes if we need them. And if you need one in a different shape or size, it's three pieces of metal and a big weight in the center. And that's it. So, anyway, until next time. And always remember, pride and workmanship is always a factor.